Hello everyone. This is my friend Andy's Dell XPS port, um, 430 computer. It's a few months old. It's maybe about two or three months old, something like that. Well, the reason why it's over here is because the hard drive and it failed. I just want to point out about these things. There's the inside of it. This computer has the Seagate 7200.11 series hard drives. I think it's a 750 gigabyte drive. This one is. Just pull it out. This particular hard drive, this whole series, the 7200.11 series drives, have a high failure rate. And it's not because of the drive spindle or um reading system itself is the it's the um it's the controller on the drive the firmware pretty much that board to show it to you is uh Seagate Barracuda seventy two hundred point eleven. This thing ain't focusing on it. Uh anyway I'm reading it to you. Barracuda seventy two hundred point eleven series. Let's see date code this many this hard drive was manufactured February seventeenth two thousand nine she's not old at all Let's see this is a I'm not sure if it says on here or not this is an OEM drive seven fifty gigabyte hard drive and the thing that I just want to point out point out about these things is that like I said, these these drives have a high failure rate. What happened was, Andy had um, put the computer in sleep mode, I believe is what he said. And then when he tried to resume from it, the hard drive it wouldn't it wouldn't it couldn't detect the hard drive. Pretty much, the hard drive wasn't showing up in the BIOS. And what was odd was that you would turn the computer on. The hard drive wouldn't spin up instantly. It would be a two second delay and then the drive would slowly spin up to speed. And the BIOS would pretty much hang up at the at the splash screen, at the Dell screen. It would just hang up. And then it would just hang up there for a while and eventually show an error sh saying that the hard drive wasn't detected, sh saying that one or more of your drives was not detecting detected in, during post. And and I pretty much opened it up to check the connections, and the connections are perfect. No problems in there, in that area. So, I brought the computer over here, pulled the hard drive out, tried out my diagnosis system, which works perfectly fine, and the BIOS on it couldn't detect the hard drive either. It wasn't, it wasn't even showing up. And, um, let's see, uh, the BIOS was, it caused the BIOS to hang up longer than what it normally does, and eventually when it proceeded, when it tried to boot XP, it would hang up. So that right there tells you is that there was, was a problem somewhere. And right as I opened this thing up and looked, saw this hard drive to San Juan point eleven, I said that's got to be our problem because this this is um I sell your right hard drive. My friend Tim is running one, and it's still working, which I believe is because he never cuts his computer off. But anyway, so if you have any recent Dells, and if they like, if um you have an issue where you can't boot the Windows, and it's showing an issue like it it, it can't find the hard drive, chances are you got a Seagate same two hundred point eleven hard drive in this in your in your computer. And see, Seagate has um, fixed the issue by releasing another generation called the same two hundred point twelve. The Mid Tower Deluxe has two of those in RAID in a RAID 1 configuration and they run fine I think I've had them longer than I think I had those in my computer before Andy bought this computer and it was up there it was like 800 something dollars it has the Core 2 Quad not sure what exactly what model Core 2 Quad ATI Radeon 3870 I think scores a 5.2 in Vista while my 3450 scores a 4 there's the graphics card right there. And it has six gigs of DDR3 RAM. The newer memory which is not really efficient. It draws a lot of power. That's why I like DDR2 better. 
and that's cheaper for DDR2. Anyway, what I'm going to do for Andy is get, is I'm getting him, he wants a terabyte set up and he wants it to be good and fast because he likes the game on this thing a lot. So, I'm going to get him two of the 500, 7200.12 Seagate 500 gig hard drives, like what's in my mid tower Lux, and set, set up a Ray Zero set up for, um, in other words, a Stripe set up. Make performance really good and have a terabyte of space. Since he's um, going to be using this for a game server for like World of Warcraft and whatever else he plays on this thing. I just wanted to point that out. So if your Dell ever come, runs into this problem, and the thing about Dell is that Andy wanted to first try Dell technical support. And as you see, every Dell comes with a service tag and express service code. Well, where is that? And they wouldn't accept this um, service tag. It said it was invalid. So, that's pretty much screwing you over right there. And, like I say, I've, I've had to deal with Dell personally. And I have to say their technical support is horrible. As you see, I'm this is my workroom slash guest bedroom. Which, my Aunt Terry don't sleep here much anymore because the bed's uncomfortable. So I pretty much take him back over again. There's my diagnosis computer again. There's another computer I'm going to put up for sale on Craigslist. Neem Machine Next Gen Cat Chassis. It has a damn motherboard in it. Neem Machine board. Nothing unusual. Over there is my server that I use at school. Over there, let's see, um, what is that? Has so many daggone computer parts lying around, it's crazy. That is, I think, um, yeah, that's an S on XP board. I paid two ninety eight for that at the fifth store. Can you believe it? It had every, it pretty much has everything in it. I I pulled the power supply out and the processor out. I think, yeah. No, just the power supply and the processor heat thing. But anyway, a lot of parts. <laughs> One sixty gigabyte Seagate seventy two hundred point nine hard drive. I don't think those had any flawed hardware issues. I mean, firmware. That's the, that's the actual problem. So, <laughs> three hundred watt best sec power supply from an e machine. Haven't tested yet. Probably works. Anyway, yeah. A lot of parts. <clears throat> I'll just wait till I show a video of my collection upstairs. But yeah, plenty of parts. Ah, I can hang Go to them all. Anyway, I'm gonna say if your if your Dell recent Dell XPS has any issues with like a hard drive failure. It's probably it got a Seagate drive in it. Like if your computer isn't working, probably from a Seagate hard drive failure. <laughs> anyway, I'm out of here.